وسلم أن نؤمن بصحة ما فيها من الأخبار نمبر تو is we believe every single information that is contained in those books secondly we believe in every single information that is contained in those books ka akhbar al quran like the information that is contained in the quran and likewise wa akhbar ma lam يبدل او يحرف من الكتب السابقه likewise to believe in all the informations that was in the books the previous books that was not being changed or altered those information that are in it we believe in it those information that is in it we believe in it This was second one thalitha number 3 an nu'minu bima fiha min al ahkam number 3 is that we believe every single ruling that is containing in those books number 3 is that we believe in every single ruling that is containing in those books idha lam yukhalif as long as it does not contradicts shari'atuna aw sharia every single legislation that is in those books we do not contradict it we take it we believe in its authenticity as long as it is not in opposition of our sharia right so number one was what to believe that to know that these books are from allah right they are from allah and the books that we have today other than the quran they are not the books that we will attribute to allah because of they were being altered and tempted with number 2 is to believe in every single information akhbar that are containing in it as long as those information were not being changed and replaced number 3 is to believe in the ruling that are contained in the books as long as lam yukhalif shari'atuna as long as it is not in opposition of our sharia right Now we're reading something different Ustaz Samba we're reading in regard to the al imanu bil bil kutub and we're reading by Sheikh Salah al Uthaymi rahimahullah 40 an-Nawawi because he went into detail and very easy to memorize because he numbered it so number one was to believe in to believe in all the books they are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the books that he sent to the prophets and messengers and to believe that these books that they have today they are not from the books of allah they are not the speech of allah why li'annahum ghayyaru wa baddalu wa harrafu they have altered it and tempted with all these books the bible today is not the book of allah except the quran the gospel today is not the book of allah limadha because they change it the priest just like the rabbi they have changed the books the huh they changed the way they want it they they changed it they changed it they changed it literally they changed it so therefore it is not to be taken as the book of allah and number 3 barakallahu fikum is number 2 is that to believe and nu'min bi sihhati ma fihi min al akhbar It is to believe the authenticity of whatever information that is in it in all the books but as long as those information has not been altered or changed or tempted with number 3 page 45 or oh, 54 54 number 3 is to believe in all the rulings 
as long as it does not contradicts our legislation meaning the legislation of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the sharia sharia muhammadiya the sharia of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam so therefore he mentioned hafiz rahimahullah rabi'an number 4 is an nu'min bima alimna min asma'iha we believe in those books that we know their names of mithlu al-quran wal tawrat wal injil wal zabur wa suhuf ibrahim wa suhuf musa we believe in those that we know their names of like the quran like the zabur like the Torah, like the Injil, like the Suhuf Ibrahim, like the Suhuf Musa, all of these books, we believe in it because it has been mentioned in the in the Quran and it has been mentioned in the authentic Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now the Shaykh Hafizahullah he mentioned, فَلَوْ قَالَ rajul, If a person say, أَنَا لَا أُؤْمِنْ بأن هناك كتابا يسمى التوراة. If a person say I don't believe that there is a book that is called a توراة. I don't believe that there is a book that is called a توراة. شخص على رحمه رحمه الله he say فإنه كافر. This person is a disbeliever. He say لأن الإيمان بالله because believing in Allah يتضمن necessitates that you believe in all the existing books. It necessitates that you believe in all the existing books. Believe in Allah. Yatadamman necessitates that you believe in all the existing books. With Barakallahu Fikum, these four ways of believing in it. With these four ways of believing in it. Number one, it is to believe that these books, they are from Allah. That he sent to his messengers. And for what purpose? What was the purpose? For what the purpose? Lihidayatin nas. To go to what? To? For the guidance of the people. Yes, to convey to the people for their guidance. So this is the first reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the books. Or revealed the books. So the people be upon guidance. And the ulama they mention, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we were asking Allah for guidance, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ The first ishara in Surah Al-Baqarah is what? Alif la meem, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ You are asking, اِهْدِنَ guidance. هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ is guidance for the people that believe. So the believer cannot go without the, the book of Allah. The believer cannot do it without the book of Allah. And any time a person want to do it on his own, he will only have a tab. He will only tie himself up. He will only warn himself out. And he will never ever get, gain nothing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you cannot seek the pleasure of Allah in the way that you deem to be correct. You cannot seek the pleasure of Allah in how the people constitute themselves, right? And do their thing and thinking that this will be pleasing to Allah. This is not possible, Barakallah Fiqh. But rather, it is only by the way of the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that one can gain the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So, thalithan, secondly, it is to believe that every single information that is containing in those books, it is what? It is the truth. As long as those information has not been altered and changed and tampered with. Number three, it is to believe in the rules and regulations set by those books. Meaning the different sharia that came. You believe in them. As long as it is not in opposition of your 
Sharia. Because the Sharia of those who were before us, Sharia tun lana, it is our Sharia. As long as there is nothing to come to say, this is not for you, and this is for them only, or this is for everybody. Mathalan, the issue of fasting, it was for every single every single nation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. Right? Kama kutiba ala ladina min qablik min qablikum as that it was being prescribed to those before you. Maryam alayhi salatu wa salam didn't she fast it? Yes, she fast it. All the prophets alayhi salatu wa salam fast it. Likewise, circumambulating the Kaaba Praying, raising the hands on the chest. This is something that all the prophets they had in common. Having the lihya, all of the prophets they have it in common. Having the garment above the ankles, all the prophets they had it in common. All of them. And let us not be struggling with that. Let us not be struggling with that no more. Let us grow up a little bit. Right, Abu? Let us not struggle with that no more, alhamdulillah. Let us all, alhamdulillah, encourage one another to, alhamdulillah, raise our pants above our ankles. It doesn't take you nothing to go to the tailor. If you want to be cool to the point that, you know, you can't cut it, go to the tailor. Easy. Alhamdulillah, if you can do without the tailor, like some of us do, you know what I'm saying? Me and Abdullah, right? Just cut it up and forget about it. Huh? Yes, cut it up. Just cut it up and khalas into halamr. So you don't have to fold it here, fold it left there, fold it here today. To, you know, you in the salah, you feel so uncomfortable because everybody has their pants above their ankle but you. Or you come to the masjid, you got to make sure be in your car that you're going to roll it up before you get out the car or tuck it a little bit high and stuff like this. It is very tiresome. Just, alhamdulillah, cut it up. Cut it up. And this is where you do yourself a favor and your pants a favor. Because they will be a witness yawm al qiyamati for you. Right, Muhammad? So let us grow in that incense, alhamdulillah. What is, it's, there is nothing that we got to prove to nobody no more. Those days of proving something to others, those days over. Now it is between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La siyama things that we learn or we hear every day that we should implement it alhamdulillah and even be able to encourage others to be implementing it. And that is not because I got a CEO job that I, I, I got to dress like everybody else in the company. No, you are Muslim before you, you are anything. You are a servant of Allah before you are anything. You can die without being a CEO. But you can't afford to die not being a Muslim. Can you afford that? Akhi, the majority of the world is not a, doesn't have no high-end salary. Is it? The majority of the world do not have a high-end salary. They can't even make the two ends meet. Let alone, Barakallah, if you can have a salary. But the majority of the every single one on the face of the earth need al-Islam to make it yawm al-qiyamati فَمَنْ زُخْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَاز Whoever is saved from the hellfire and is admitted to the jannah this is the greatest success now for us success is something else seriously and none wrong with certain things but to be Overwhelmed with it, this is the problem. Ain't nobody telling you don't go to work. Nobody telling you don't build a big, a tall building. Nobody telling you don't have no corporation. Nobody telling you don't establish something that your children later on can benefit from. Nobody's telling you that. But don't forsake your akhirah for this life. This is the whole point. That's the whole point. Alhamdulillah, get rich. And this is something that we need to support the da'wah. We need people that got money to support the da'wah in places that they need to be supported, alhamdulillah.